Okay, I, uh, I wound up going to bed really late last night, so I'm kind of going to have to rapid fire through this because the real thing I want to get into today is essentially the last manga chapter we're going to have for a while from what I hear, but let's see. Um, let's see, today is, uh, right, I forgot to go high as guys. Um, oh, well, I guess my low is I'm still kind of tired. And plus, I was, I thought I'd lost my wallet, too, but that wound up not happening, which made me feel a lot better. My high was that I got to spend the, the afternoon with my father yesterday. It was very quite nice. You know, we watched some football. We had some Nelia's pizza. Like, it was great. It was wonderful. I got to see my mom a little bit, too. You know, that's always nice. She got back home from work. So, nothing worried about there. Um, let's see. Oh, also, um, I got to see my folks place with their lights on. Yeah, my po my folks actually have the Christmas lights up right now. Which, actually, pretty much everyone in my folks' neighborhood already does, so... Although, legend has that my father was the first one to, like, start doing that a little bit earlier than normal. So, consider that a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. And uh, my act of kindness was from Saturday, like the dishes were in, at my folks place, were in the dishwasher, so I took them out and put them away for them. And helped my father clean up the kitchen after we were done eating pizza. So, yes, that was very short, sweet, and to the point. Now, I have quite a bit to go over, so uh, let's start with uh, my NFL picks, shall we? Well, I actually wound up doing pretty well. Oh, right. Good morning, happy Monday, everybody. Let's see, I actually wound up doing pretty well in terms of how many I got right compared to what I did on Thanksgiving. I mean, the Bills, the Titans, the Vikings, the Browns, the Dolphins, the Saints, the Chiefs, they all won. By my count, I've only seen one, two, three, four, yeah, only four I get one again wrong. Oh, and the Packers won too. I got the Packers win yesterday. So, before I get into the manga chapter, let's see. Um, tonight's game, the Seahawks and the Eagles. Oh, that's easy. I'm picking the Seahawks. That's not even a question. So, yeah, I'm picking the Seahawks today to win. Now, um, from what I hear, this is a very big chapter for One Piece. Let's see if that winds up being true. Shall we? If I can find it. Okay, yeah, the new chapter is coming in 14 days. So, we're going to be cutting it very close. If you get to my birthday, we'll have to see. But until then, let's read chapter 997, Flames. Uh, that's the name of the title. It's, it's called Flames. Okay. All right. Picks up the signs you left off. You thought you heard something? Okay. Oh wait. Oh no. I wouldn't consider this a failure for Sanji, but a lot of people are going to see it this way. Basically, Sanji's always been a very chivalrous lad, if you will. So when he hears a woman in trouble, of course he's going to try and save her. But, much like Admiral Akbar said in Return of the Jedi, it was a trap. And, uh, Sanji looks like he fell for it. Not, uh, not the best way to start her going about doing it. Oh, I think you see Black Maria, though. That's cool. Uh-huh. Kind of breaks up the Sanji, Jinbei, and Luffy trio that was going on, but honestly, the Jinbei and Luffy duo, that's just, it's fine with me, so I can't really complain. Okay. See a couple smiles. Not. Oh. See Poker and Berserker. Uh...
Poker looks kind of cool. But Mazurka, I don't really know yet. I'll have to wait and see. Let's see if it grows on me. Okay. Alright. Okay, here we go. Let's see, we're back to where Zoro and the rest of the Strats are dealing with that uh, one plague thing. Let's see. Mm hmm. Looks like uh, Drake and the two are fighting. Whoa! Okay, what page is this? Page nine. Okay. Page nine at this moment in time has the best panel of the arc so far. Because it is just Zoro knocking out a member of the worst generation in Apu. Which was needed to happen so they can get the antibodies. Like, Zoro's like, enough of this. I'm taking care of it now. He does. Page nine. Look it up. It is awesome. Okay. Okay. Got it. Zoro gives the end up to Chopper. Good. It looks like Chopper knows how to cure this disease. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Alright. It looks like Queen is about to attack Chopper. Wait. Oh, Zoro is just so awesome here. He stopped Queen from attacking Chopper. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, from what I see here, it looks like after 23 years of storytelling, Ichiro Oda has retired Luffy as the main protagonist. It looks like Zoro is going to be the one to carry out the story. At least that's what it looks like here. Seriously, if you were new to One Piece and you saw this, you would think Zoro is the main protagonist of the series. Because that's what this whole thing looks like. He knocks out and the worst generation in an awesome way literally talks down to one of the commanders of the four emperors, and he literally said he's going to slice down one of the four emperors. All while mistakenly causing Conqueror's hockey. At least it looks like it. No, it's an earthquake. But it looks like it's Conqueror's hockey. Although, the earthquake could be caused by something else. Maybe we'll get into that. Oh, looks like there's Okiku's arm. We're going to have to find a way to fix that. Hey, Marco's here! Huh. Funny. I don't think Marco's ever actually met the other Straw Hats, has he? I mean, we as an audience have effectively known who Marco is for well over a decade now and change. And the Straw Hats we know him from the very beginning, but this is the first time we've actually met each other. Okay. I like that. And since Marco can fly, he could get Zoro up to where Kaido is a lot easier. And with King being able to fly too, we could get a bird versus bird action. Actually, Marco is the phoenix, and King is the pterodon. So, take that what, take that what you will. All right. Let's see. Uh huh. I was shaking. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back to Yamato and, and Momonosuke. Okay. Uh -huh. Wait. How is there no C when they get to the dock? Wait. According to Yamato, dragons fly through the air by creating something called flame clouds. Meaning what? No. No. He didn't. He really didn't. And that's the end of the chapter. Okay. It looks like I'm going to need to explain something here, aren't I? Folks. The end of the chapter presents us something that 
we as in One Piece audience have witnessed many times in the past. We have now reached what is called the Arc Calamity. Now, what is an Arc Calamity? Basically, it is a, a plot mechanic that Ichiro has used in the past, in which something happens on a monumental scale, which very much raises the stakes to the point where the threat goes from being pretty major to pretty much apocalyptic. And he's done this plot device many times in the past. You know, the bomb in Alabasta, the Ark Maxim in Skypea, the Buster Call in any Slobby, you know, the Sun Rising in Thriller Bark. Um, what other ones has he done? Uh, the Noah of Fishman Island, the Chemical Weapon of Punk Hazard, the Bird Cage in Dress Rosa, Big Mom's Hunger Pains and Temper Tantrums on Whole Cake Island, and quite frankly, her overall personality. Basically, the Arc Calamity does three things. Like I said, first, it actually raises the stakes. You know, so now we as an audience can actually be very much worried about what's going to happen from this moment forward. The second thing it does is it really emphasizes just what the overall objective is. You know, beat the bad guy from stopping the thing to keep the thing from happening so bad things don't happen. I hope I just said that right. But also, and this is an underrated thing, what basically happens is it gives a lot of secondary characters a chance to shine. So, another example of this was again Dress Rosa. You know, as the birdcage is going on, a lot of the members of the Coliseum were helping the Striads fight off the Doflamingo family. So, yeah, that was actually... I can be in the draw. Actually, speaking of that, I just spoke about Alabasta. So I have to do my arc thoughts tonight on that one, don't I? I'll do that later. Today. Or maybe this evening. I don't know. But, yes. That is, effectively, what is going down. You know... In this case, Kaido uses dragon powers to create flame clouds to lift the entire island of Onigashima and bring it over to the flower capital. I'm going to say that again. An entire giant island will now be lifted out of the water and go to the mainland where the flower capital is. And it looks like he's probably going to either drop it or gently set it down and let all nonsense and bad stuff break loose. Again, you gotta stop the bad guy and stop the thing from doing the thing and you save the day, effectively, when you do that. Basically, if they don't stop the bad guy here, well, it's gonna be... It's definitely gonna be pretty, um, pretty bad if they don't stop him. So, yeah. If you were to tell me that the things that were going to happen in this chapter happened, I wouldn't believe you. So many awesome things happened here. And, well, awesome, like, again, the art calamity can now bring the melodramatic levels of stakes. You know, Zoro being awesome. Although it does make the argument does Zoro have conquerors hockey after that one panel? I would like to see it happen. I mean, Silver's late Ray Lee, the second in command of the Gold Roger Pirates, had it. Charlotte Katakuri, even though he, even though it didn't straight out say he was the second in command of the Big Mom Pirates, he has it. You know, why not Zoro being the second in command of the Stride Pirates have it too? Just a, just a thought. But, Man, I have to wait two more weeks for this? Well, actually, I, you say that when chapter 998 comes out, but... I tell you what, though, this is the last day of November of 2020. It's definitely off to a fantastic start. Because this was a great chapter. And plus, hey, I got to explain to you guys what an arc calamity is. Although, again, I'll have to uh, definitely do my art thoughts today for uh, Alabasta later. 
So I'll do that before the day is over. I'm gonna try and do that. I have to remember to do that. So, because honestly, the Alabasta saga has been building up to the arc that's today, which is the namesake arc. The Alabasta saga has been building up to its namesake arc, which is what the arc thought is going to be for today. But I'll get to that when we get to that. So, like, give a share, the subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, subscribe to YouTube. I'm very humble. I made this video for all of you guys watching. Your dream will be all wonderful. Wonderful Monday. Remember, you guys are my talking channel. I'm going to get one of those. I'll be like, take care and make good choices. See ya.